I'm Caitlin Gifford from Alberta Environment and Parks and today we're going to show you everything you need to know about ice fishing. Before you head out on the ice there's a few things you need to remember. Always tell someone where you are going and when you plan to be home. Your fishing gear isn't the only thing you'll need for your fishing trip. Make sure you bring an emergency kit with you including a first aid kit, additional warm clothes, blankets, matches, and candles. Know the signs of cold weather injuries and hypothermia. If you plan to drive on the ice, make sure to take off your seatbelt, roll the window down slightly, and unlock your doors. Always carry a set of ice spikes in your pocket to help you out of the ice in case you fall through. When you arrive at the lake, check the thickness and quality of the ice. Ice should be clear, blue, or green in color. Gray ice is unsafe. Never walk on ice that is less than 10 centimeters thick and never drive on ice that is less than 30 centimeters in thickness. Make sure you're aware of what's going on under the ice as well. If you're near flowing water, like at a stream inlet or outlet, the ice thickness and strength can vary significantly. Never go near open water. And if you're uncertain about the ice thickness or if it's safe to go on the ice, don't go on the ice. Now that we know our biggest safety concerns and how to prepare for the day, let's get started. Check the regulations for bait bans, open fishing seasons, gear restrictions, catch and size limits for the water body you plan to fish at. Brush up on your fish identification skills while you're at it. Once you've chosen your ice fishing spot, you're going to need to drill out a hole in the ice. And for that, we need an ice auger. There are many different types of ice augers, so make sure you follow the instructions and the user manual for yours. Drill out a hole in the ice and then scoop out any of the ice that's floating in the hole. Next, we need to get our ice fishing rods ready. When fishing in the winter, our ice fishing rods are shorter than we're used to in the summertime. That's because we don't need to cast and we're often in tight spaces like an ice fishing shelter. One of my favorite knots to tie on my tackle is the improved clinch knot. When ice fishing, you're allowed to have two lines in the water, unlike during the open water season. Many people choose to use a tip-up for their secondary line. When a fish bites your tackle, a flag will spring up, letting you know that there's a fish at the end of your line. Fish handling during the winter can be tricky, but it's important to keep your catch in the water as much as possible. Exposing fish to freezing cold air temperatures, the ice surface, or dry surfaces like our hands, can cause harm to the fish, especially to the gills and the eyes. If you don't plan on keeping your catch, try releasing the hook while the fish is still in the water. Drilling two interconnected holes or a larger hole will help with this. Using barbless hooks will also make this process much faster. If you plan on keeping your catch, measure it as quickly as possible to determine if it is legal to keep. If you're gonna take a photo, Make sure you get the camera ready while the fish is still in the water. Or better yet, take an underwater photo. Hold the fish horizontally and close to the water. When you're ready to release it, put the fish head first down into the hole and let them swim away on their own. If you're leaving your ice shelter on the ice for longer than 24 hours, you are now required to label your ice shelter with ownership information. So you can label your ice shack with your name and phone number or your wildlife identification number. Make sure you also remove your ice shelter from the ice by March 15th if you're in Fisheries Management Zone PV1 or March 31st if you're fishing elsewhere in the province unless otherwise noted by a fisheries officer. When you're ready to head home at the end of the day, remember to pack out everything you brought with you, including any garbage and debris. If that's left on the ice, it will eventually end up in the lake. Do your part to maintain Alberta's lakes by providing a clean, safe place for our fish to thrive. Have fun out there and stay warm.